Welcome to Little John's Yarns. Today, we're going to be making this sheep cup cozy on the Addy Pro, the 22 needle machine. If you like this video, please subscribe because I come up with two new videos every week. Using the Addy Pro, knit 50 rows or 9 inches with a normal cast off. Leave a 3 foot tail for later crocheting in the video. Today, we're going to be working with a 5 millimeter crochet hook and we'll be using well, I'm using Vanna's Compliment from Lines Brand in gray for the face of the yarn, for the face of the sheep, and also some black yarn for the legs, and for the cup cozy part, the tube, I'm using Barnett's uh, Pipsqueak yarn. We're going to begin by making the face. For visual purposes, I'm going to use white yarn because the gray yarn didn't show up so well on camera. So you'll start with a slip knot. and we will chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So one, two, there's your second chain. Single crochet into the next stitch. Half double crochet into the next. And now we're going to place five half double crochets into this very last stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Now for the working down the opposite side of the chain, we're going to place a half double crochet into this first stitch right here. A single crochet into the next, and a single crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to slip stitch to join into the very first single crochet. Now we're going to chain one we're going to single crochet into the next stitch not this one but the next stitch okay and now we're going to single crochet into the next two stitches one and two half double crochet into the next stitch and we're going to place two half double crochets into the very next stitch. One, two. Place two half double crochets into the next stitch. One, two. Half double crochet into the next stitch. Now we're going to place one single crochet into the very next two stitches. So here's one single crochet and there's your second single crochet. Now we're going to skip the next stitch and just slip stitch and join. And you can fasten off your work. I don't have my scissors, but I will show you couldn't work, but I can't find it. We'll move on to the very next step. Next, we're going to create the ears, which is very simple. Take your hook, make a slip knot. We're going to chain two. One, two. Single crochet into the very first chain, or as you say, the second chain from the hook. And now we're going to fasten off for work. Make sure you leave a long enough um, tail so you can sew it onto your, or tie it onto your heavier sheet. So here's what it looks like so far. What I do, I take my ends and I'm just going to create a knot. Just like this. And pull. If 
usually simpler when I do it off camera. There we go. And I make another little knot to make sure it's secure. So go ahead and make two of these ears. Next, I'm going to show you how to attach the ears. So you can decide which side you want to be front or back. So you see this is the top of your work. I usually attach my ears right to the left and right of those little stitch markers. So I think I want my ears one, actually two stitches over from that top part. So I insert my hook two stitches over through both loops. Take one of the strands, pull through. Okay, let me see if I can focus in a little bit better. So this time, through that same stitch that I pulled through, instead of going through both loops, I'm just going to go through the back loop this time and pull over the second strand. And I just tie it on. Double knot to secure it. And there's your first ear. I'll show you one more time with the other ear. So, like I said, I found the center spot. I went over two stitches. One, two. And that's where I'm going to insert my hook through both loops. Take one strand of your yarn. Pull it through. Now, through that same stitch, instead of going through both loops, see if I can zoom in. There we go. We're going to go through the back loop this time. Find that extra piece of yarn. Pull it through. And just tie it on to secure. Alright, we have lots of ends, so make sure you cut and weave in all your ends. Next, we're going to be working on the legs of our sheath. Once again, I'm going to show you in white yarn because it shows up much better on camera. We're going to begin by making a slip knot and chaining eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. S um, slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. One, two. There's your second chain. Slip stitch. We're going to slip stitch all the way down the remainder of the chains. We're going to be making two of these. Okay, there's our last slip stitch. And all you need to do is fasten off your work. Leave yourself a long tail so you can sew it onto your um, tube shortly. So go ahead and make two of these. It's very simple. Now we're going to be working on the tube, the cup cozy part. So make sure you pull your ends closed. And to make sure my work is absolutely secure, I just do a simple whip stitch across the top. Nothing fancy. To make sure all the work is secure. Okay. Okay, now that our ends are secure, we're going to create our own button so you'll be able to close your cup cozy around a cup. Try to zoom in. Insert your hook into any space in your cup cozy. It doesn't have to be perfect. The cup cozy is fuzzy, so mistakes are covered. Okay. Yarn over and pull up a loop. We're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
we're going to be working um, DC's together all the way across. I'll show you exactly how it's done. Imagine going into the second chain from hook. I know you can't see it, but like I said, the work doesn't have to be perfect. So, yarn over, go into the second chain from hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, and we're going to continue. We're not going to um, finish this off. So, yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two. Do this until you make it down to the bottom of the row. Like I said, the stitch count does not have to be perfect. Yarn over, pull through two. Go into your stitch again. Yarn over, pull through two. And I think I'll squeeze one more in. Yarn over, go into the stitch, pull through two. Now we have all our loops on a hook. We're going to pull through, yarn over, and pull through all the hoops, loops on your hook. There we go. Fasten off your work. And we're going to cut a long tail so we can sew this down. Okay, let's create this button. Make sure your needle is thread, threaded. And I just want you to roll your tail into a little ball. And what we're just going to do is go in and out with your needle to secure it in its place in a little ball form. No rhyme or reason, just get your work into shape. So this is going to look like the little sheep's tail at the um, very back of your cup. Like I said, just thread in and out, back and forth. Let's see how it's looking so far. Mine's a little wobbly. I'm going to see how mine is connected to the work. Now I'm going to connect mine better to my cup cozy. By doing that, I'm just working it back in to the top of the cozy. All right, now your button's secure. We'll work on the other side of your closure. Now on the opposite side of your work, we're going to attach a buttonhole. I decided to use regular worsted weight yarn because I didn't trust the Barnett yarn to, to be able to hold the buttons together. So I think this will be stronger. So attach your needle some space on your tube doesn't have to be perfect just so it lines up with your button okay attach it make sure it's secure we are going to chain eight one two three four five six seven and eight and just go back over to close off your buttonhole back into your work slip stitch just for security I'm going to do another slip stitch and now fasten off your work so now you have a buttonhole And that will be the back of your sheet. I'm just going to show you how I attach the sheep's head real quick. Make sure it's into the center of your tube and thread a needle. All I do is just stitch up and down. To secure it on. No special stitches. Can you 
continue um, working your stitches all the way around to secure the face. And next I'll show you how to attach the legs. Now we're just going to put on our legs, thread one of the tails, find a good position for your leg, just poke it through. I do the same for this one, thread the needle, poke it through. And I just secure off the back, simple as that, no fancy stitches. Put a good couple secured knots in there so it doesn't come out. The wonderful thing about um, Pipsqueak yarn, you can't see where you um, put any of your stitches. Remember how I sewed on the front of this? You can barely see the stitches in the back, but they're there, they're hidden. We have one leg, and you'll just repeat with the opposite leg. Thread your needle. Find a good spot where you like your leg and just push it through. And repeat with the other tail. Flip it over and tie it off. Don't forget to weave in all your ends. And next, all you have to do is get some hot glue and add your little googly eyes. I'll show you the complete work on the next picture. I decided my sheep needed a little tuft of hair up top. I'll show you exactly how I did that. Take an even smaller crochet hook. This is a 3.75. Insert your hook into any of the chains up top, and you'll need scissors close by also. Search your hook up, oh, I'm having trouble, okay, into any of the chains. Take your pipsqueak yarn and wrap it around your yarn like you're about to ta attach um, any regular strand of yarn. Make sure you have a long tail. Whoop, can you see? and we're going to pull through. Hope you're able to see this. Can you see the two strands of yarn we get? One and two. This is the one still attached to the skein. Just take your scissors and cut the one attached to the skein. So, take one of your strands, doesn't matter which one, yarn over, and pull through completely. Oops, I'm having trouble. There you go, pull three completely. And you can just tighten them up. And I just put an extra little knot for security. It's a little long, so I'm going to trim the little tuft up top. There you go. Now your sheep is all finished. Thanks for joining me today. If you want to see more videos just like this, don't forget to subscribe. I come out with two new patterns every week. I'll see you guys on the very next tutorial.